Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 61 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks and we've hit a milestone. We're going to be making our very last 22 centimetre patch before we move on to the central panel applique. We're making the shoe fly patch. To make the shoe fly patch you'll receive a piece of the midnight floral fabric, a piece of the pink stripe, the lemon spot and lastly the blue floral. To make the shoe fly patch you will need template A, we use this for our churn dash square, Template F, we use that in our Trafalgar patch. And E, which we used in the nine patch right at the beginning. I already have these templates from the previous patches we've made and I've kept them in my template box. But if you don't have these templates, you can access them at the back of the magazine. Just photocopy them onto a light card and cut them out. And now to cut out our patches, we're going to need one of the A templates from the blue floral. We're going to need four of the E templates using the pink stripe, which we've folded over. And we're going to need four of these from the midnight floral. It's time to get cutting. We've cut out all of our patches and I'm finished with the template pieces. Our next job is to lay out the patch in front of us. It looks like a relatively quite simple patch to stitch together. I'm going to set up my machine and get cracking. So we're all set up, ready to go. Machine, check. Ironing, check. If you look very carefully at the patch, it's divided up into three bands. You've got the top band, the middle band, and the bottom band. Our first step in creating our full bands is to stitch the two triangle pieces together first. Now that we've got the three components to our bands all sewn together, I'm going to stitch together the complete bands, the top one first, the middle one, and then the bottom one. That's our first band stitched together. I'm now going to stitch the middle band together. And now to stitch our last and third band together. 
To make the shoe fly patch, the next step is to stitch our three sections together. So I've stitched together our shoe fly patch and it's looking good. I'm going to give it its final press and show you what I've done. And here we have our finished shoe fly patch, our very last square. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I didn't deviate with the fabrics or change it in any way. It's a pretty simple patch and it's quite an important patch in our quilt. This is one of the patches which we will applique some flowers over in regards to the Peter Rabbit lettering in our quilt. So I've kept it simple and true to form. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making your shoe fly patch and that you've got a sense of accomplishment that we've finished all of our patches. We're going to move on to our central panel next. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we start the second phase of our quilt. Bye.